springtime it brings on the shearing And then you will see them in droves To the Shag Valley stations all steering A seeking a job that they know With a ragged old swag on yeah. his shoulder And a billy court pot in my hand Oh, I tell you, we astonish the new chum By the way that we travel the land Out on the boat, the old shearer stands Grasping the shears in his thin bony hands He fixes his gaze on the bare belly, yo Glory if he gets her, won't he make the ringer go? Click, go the shears, boys, click, click, click Why it is his blow and his hands move quick The ringer looks around and is beaten by the blow And curses the old swaggy with a bare belly yo In the middle of the floor, in his cane bottom chair, sits the boss of the board with his eyes everywhere. He notes well each fleece as it comes to the screen and pays a strict attention that it's taken out clean. Click, go the shears, boys, click, click, click. Wide is his blow and his hands move quick. The ringer looks around and is beaten by the blow and curses the old swaggy with the bare belly yo. Shearing is all over, we've all got our checks. Roll up your swag, boys, we're off to the tracks. The first pub we come to is there, we'll have a spree. And everyone that comes along will have a drink on me. Who would be a shearer, a shearer in the shed? If I had to be a shearer... That song was called Click Go the Shears. And uh, this is Francis Callaghan here. And Francis, so many of those words in that song very confusing to me, like things like... Go grab a daggy you. What would a daggy you be if you're writing home? Wow, goodness gracious, you asked me embarrassing, a very embarrassing question. The daggy sheep is one that hasn't been cleaned around the rear end. Oh, I, I'm sorry I ask you. Peter Burnett there is, is New Zealand's champion shearer, for that matter, probably the world champion speed shearer. John, you do a bit of shearing yourself. This is John Hoare, by the way, and he's he's a, one of the, the, the best singers here in New Zealand and best known. The dogs are a very important part about around sheep stations, is that right? Very important indeed. You must have, without the dogs, you wouldn't have the shearing. You were telling me about a very unique kind of a dog that operated in this area, is that right, John? Yes, yeah, around about 120 years ago. Uh, it was actually owned by a folk hero named Mackenzie, and he had a strange or different sort of an occupation back then. He went around collecting sheep, in fact, other people's. There's a story that you're bound to hear if you down Otago Way of an outlaw and his dog that brought him fame. Of an ancient Maori trail to a grassy mountain vale in that rugged land that bears Mackenzie's name. Where the campfires are a blazing and the drove the man a lazing fought the fight with Okinui Mountain Grog. There's a story in the making with perhaps a little faking as they weave the legend round Mackenzie's dog. Many streets in Dunedin named after streets in Edinburgh, Scotland, and that's because it was first settled by Scottish immigrants who named the city Dun Eden, the Gaelic name for Edinburgh. However, legend has it that Dunedin was named by an Irish adventurer and speculator named Seamus O'Ferguson, who opened up the first seaside restaurant on the South Island, catering exclusively to the native inhabitants. Dun Eden. Nice one. <laughs> Peace on you, my brothers. Pull up a stump and lend an ear a story I'll relate. It's about a sinful waste of beer I will elucidate. And I'll tell of how calamity struck Wapakiwi town and caused a dreadful tragedy the day the pub burned down. <laughs> The boys had gathered in the bar upon that fateful day. With horse and foot and motor car, they all had made their way. 
while listening to Manaka Jones, New Zealand's finest liar. There came a cry that chilled the bones of flaming bugs on fire. Burn down. And weeks the wells and tanks were dry. No water flowed along the creek. We had no tongue supply. The blazing sun without relent turned all the green to brown. Imagine our predicament the day the pub burned down. Burned down, burned down. It was a bloody tragedy the day the pub burned down. Spoke the flame we dragged the news to save me out the door. We thought of what we stood to lose, then rushed back in for more. Stand by the fire brigade is here. Those men of fire now. Oh, firemen, firemen, save the beer and let the pot burn down. Burn down. Everybody. Burn down. Burn down. It was a bloody tragedy the day the pot burned down. They bashed the top so barrels in while strong men felt the brain. They shoved their flipping the hoses in and shouted, Pops away! Woo! They fought with beer and lemonade that rage and fire to drown. We fought and cursed the fire brigade the day the pot burned down. Island and we're in a marvelous little religious pub called the Provincial. And some of the converts are gathered around me and we're singing a few little hymns. And if you want to sing along, it's number 43 in your hymn book and it's called All for Me Grog. Thanks. 